Hey guys, how you guys doing? Uh, this is Assam over at First Friday's Revival, and this is uh, Dennis over here, and Pastor Paul over here, <laughs> and uh, we want to we want to bless you guys here, and and my brother Dennis here has got a word for you guys. I had an interesting experience this past Sunday at church. I uh, I got a word for a man, and uh, it was a very strange word, one that I didn't quite understand what it was all about, and it was so powerful it kind of knocked me over. And, and drove me to tears. Uh, what happened was, uh, I, I know a guy that, that, that works in our warehouse, and the warehouse feeds people and clothes people, and there's a lot of people who come through there that are uh, not exactly nice people. They, 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 they get angry real quick. They, they, they're sort of strange people. They're kind of, I, I, the word that I used was untouchables, and, and uh, I prayed that this God gave me a word for this man that that he would have a heart for the untouchables and um, two days later we have a group of children that help in the warehouse and they're special needs children they're, they're they, they have brain problems and uh, some of them are have been injured some of them are, are mongoloid children with Down syndrome one child in particular who's not a child he's a young man but when he was eight years old he was molested and uh, he walks around like this, protecting himself, always protecting himself. And he, he'll open up and give you a high five or, or do some things uh, with his hands periodically. But then he's right back to a protective mode. And my friend, when these kids come, he always high fives them. I don't know if you do that in Pakistan, but we high five people, you know. And uh, this kid would high five them, but that was all he would do. And he'd cover up the camera. This Tuesday, the, the kid high-fived him and then gave him a big bear hug, and he wouldn't let go. And, and my friend started crying, and the people that brought the kid started crying. It was just, you know, it was this experience that it's once in a lifetime. This kid hasn't hugged a human being in years and years and years. He's in his 20s, molested at 8, shut off at 8 years old. Mm -hmm. So that evening, the child went home, or the young man went home, and... and uh, Apparently, he started hugging his family. It, it, something broke. And, uh, and he called this fellow who, who used to give him the high five who runs the warehouse. And, and he said to him, I don't know what you guys do over there at that warehouse, but whatever you did, my son hugged me for the first time in years. So I, I, I say to you, don't be afraid to, to give words to people. They, mm, when yes, you give mm. words to people, they come from you, but they're not for you. Thank you. They're for them. And they only yes. come through you. They're not from you either. Yes. They're they're from the Lord. And you'll know when they're from the Lord. Uh, I mean, it, this thing almost knocked me over. It was, mm. it was such Praise a powerful you. word to give this Praise man. You. In fact, I had to give his wife a word to massage his heart mm. after this, this event occurred. Because I, I know it broke his heart. Mm. You know, and, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to break the hearts of the people mm. who have the hardened hearts. Once we've cracked it, life can come back in. You think it would kill them and you'd bleed out, but you don't. It works the other way around. Once we crack that hardened heart, then the good stuff comes in. It's like a, a, a door that works both ways. It lets out the trash and brings in the good. So we put words on you. Yes, we we Lord, speak we life speak into Pakistan. Life. Yes. We speak... We speak God's grace on you, people. We speak, if, if you are hurting, we ask that God gives you peace to your body. We ask that God gives you faith to move the mountains, to move that water back. We ask the Spirit fill you, bring peace to your bodies, bring health to your bodies. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. We ask that the Lord enter your home, that He clean out whatever is in there that does not belong. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, that the angels come in, that that minions of angels come in, that armies of angels come into Pakistan and sweep the place clean. Yes, of, Lord. of not only the water but of disease. Oh yes, they reseed the ground. In the name of Jesus.
Lord, and all the things you've lost through this flood yes. will be sent back to you tenfold. Yes, Lord. And you will know that it was God that did this when yes. these things happen. Oh, oh, yes, so you Christians, I want you to go out and spread the gospel. I want you to be careful, but I want you to spread the gospel. I don't know what your country's all about, but I know it's a difficult place to be a Christian. It's a difficult place to be a Christian. You, but Lord. you guys yeah, have sir. have faith. Oh, yeah. You have more faith than we do just oh, because of where yeah. you are. <laughs> and we're full of faith. We're full of faith that you, yeah. you yeah. will oh. sustain the oh, whole yes, country through your belief. Hey, yes, you will carry yeah. that country on your <laughs> shoulders yes, just in faith. Yeah, Lord. Lord, and you will turn a country yeah. around in the name of Jesus. We bless you in the name of Jesus. We bless you in the name of Jesus. We bless you in the name of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen.